OK, so now I have a little problem where it says 9 plus 4i squared. And that kind of brings me to an example of saying, you know, what exactly does the square represent? Because a lot of students, big, big no-no, will say, oh, well, let's distribute this to 9 squared um, equals 4r plus 4i squared. No, no, no. We cannot distribute the square sign. So that is a big no-no. And that's the reason why I wanted to do this problem. We need to look at what exactly does the squaring of a number represent. Well, we know we have, let's think about x squared. If I have x squared, that represents x times x. 3 squared represents 3 times 3. So that's the exact same thing with this binomial. 9 plus 4i squared represents 9 plus 4i times 9 plus 4 i. So you want to make sure we represent it like that. And then we come into something that's even, even more great when we look at this, is this is what we call a, a binomial squared. When we have a binomial squared, that creates a perfect square trinomial, right? I'm trying to work our way back with our special factoring technique. So let's go and take a look at what exactly a perfect square trinomial looks like again. So if I had a plus b squared, that's a perfect square. Um, that's a binomial squared, which represents the same binomial being multiplied by itself. That equals a squared plus 2 times ab. I'll just write those together. Plus 2ab plus b squared, right? So therefore, we don't have to multiply all this stuff. We could use FOIL if we wanted to. But we need to represent this as a binomial squared. And therefore, all it's simply going to be is 9 squared plus 2 times 9 times 4i plus 4i squared. All right. By applying our perfect, um, our factoring technique, by applying our perfect square triangle, we can just write it like this. Well, we know 9 squared is going to be positive 81, plus 2 times uh, 9 is going to be 18, times 4 is going to be 72i, and then we have 16i squared. Right? And remember, i squared is going to represent a negative 1. Negative 1 times 16 will be a negative 16. So therefore, we have 81 minus 16 plus 72i. Then all we need to do is just do 81 minus 16 and then plus 72. So therefore, we have. Uh, So therefore, we have 65 plus 72 equals, or 65 plus 72 is going to be your final version of this answer. Thanks.